Hello everyone, Cicely at So White here again. I've got another brand new mould to introduce today. This is for cake pops. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? So you've got the half spheres, little half spheres, perfect cake pop size. Absolutely brilliant. I'd recommend putting this on a baking tray because it is so bendy. If you're trying to put it in the oven like that, you might spill it and drop it and we don't want that. Right, really easy again. Victoria sponge, three quarters full, in the oven, cake pops done. Fantastic. And then when they're cooled, we're going to sandwich them together with a little bit of buttercream and then dip them in chocolate. But you can do them in anything you want. You can sandwich them together with chocolate. It's totally up to you. Do a little ganache. So these are so easy. One, two, so probably a teaspoon each on this would probably be a good idea. I lightly greased it before I started, I should have mentioned that first. It's just ever such a light amount of grease I've put on it, barely any. If you've got some cake, cake tin sprays, they're quite good as well on these. Put a little bit more in there. And there's an odd number in this tray, which makes it brilliant because you're going to have to test one before you sandwich them together, to just to make sure that it tastes perfect. It's quite nice having the liberty of an odd one, just so you can just so you can taste it. Right, that is how easy it is. Right, when it splash it down, so it can fill out a bit, get the air out. Right, that is how simple it is. Fill it. <laughs> just come out of the oven and again with the silicone moulds try and get the cake out when they're warm they just come out a lot better and you don't have to try really really hard to get them out so again what I'm going to do is just for all of them just pull the silicone just to loosen it away from the edges because if you do this they tend to just pop out a lot easier so just sort of just have a bit of a play with the silicone it's good and bendy, so there's no, you're not going to break it by doing this. Remember for the silicon, don't use knives, because knives will just go straight through this. I've done that with a couple of moulds, completely by accident. Luckily, not where the cake went, I did it through that section. But it's not very fun to have knife marks in your bakeware. Right, okay, so that's all done. Right, okay. What I did like with the, with the teddy bears that I've done before. Just gonna turn them over. I'm just gonna sort of lightly push the back, and they should, with any luck, I say, hopefully, come out. Yes! Ta da! Right, half a cake pop. together and put a stick through them and they'll be absolutely gorgeous but if you want you can cut them down Whoop. you can cut them down or you don't need to really I think they're gonna look absolutely gorgeous so the cake pops have come out I've let them cool down they're absolutely gorgeous what I've done is where sort of as you can see on this one it's got a slight bulge to it so what I'm gonna so what I've done for all the rest is just cut off the bulge so when they sandwich together they will fit perfectly other. And don't worry if it's too messy because you're going to sandwich it so it's not too much of a worry. Okay, so the first step is to sandwich the two pieces together. And um, what you can use, well, you can use jam if you want, if you like, sort of, if you want to make a sort of Victoria sponge cake pop, which is always quite nice. Um, what I'm going to use is some strawberry flavoured buttons because I'm going to make some pink cake pops. So I've melted down the gorgeous sort of 
pink chocolate. But it smells amazing, gorgeous sort of strawberry smell. So what I'm going to do is use a teaspoon to sandwich them together. So it's quite simple. Take one half, put some chocolate, or whatever you want to use. Chocolate ganache is really good. So this chocolate is quite... quite thin you can see it's already slipping off and then what you can do is put that in the fridge and that will harden off really nicely or if it's a cool day you just leave it out and then the best way to sort of and then you take the stick put some of the same chocolate on that so you've got some on there and then push it through the side and make sure you go into the second half because you need it to be on both and then well, if it's coming out just wipe it off a bit be fine and then just leave to harden up or put them in the fridge depending on how hot or cold your kitchen is and you just do that with all of them. Wow.